Hey everybody, it's Robert. I'm back again with another subscription box for you. This one's a bit different this time. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, this is called Flicker Box. Flicker Box is a candle subscription box instead of food or beauty products or something like that. This is actually one that gives you candles. Um, their deal is that they are all handmade artisan candles, and um, there's a variety of different types. I will be doing a giveaway for this one as well, so stay tuned till the end to find out how to win that. So, I already opened the box up just because there was a bunch of information on the top and stuff like that, but I haven't dug into it yet, so. the Flickerbox logo on their little postcard with a description of each of their different candles. So we'll keep this handy and look through it as we go through the candles. Okay, so let's see what this first... Oh, just kidding. We get a little surprise here since it's February. Sweethearts. Valentine. I'm gonna eat one. Says sweet dog. Okay. And of course, we got a little bit of the ASMR packaging. <laughs> Flicker box candle or um, matches. They're based out of Chicago. And Sunbeam, which are one of the candles in here, made with solar power. Love Potion Bliss by Pure Bliss. So, set that down there. Let me read this off to you. So, Pure Bliss, hand poured in Corona, California. Their candles are made of creamy pure soy wax and flavored with some of the most delectable scents found on the planet. Their 4 ounce tin will burn for about 25 hours and smells just like Victoria's Secret most popular perfume love spell. Cool. If I'm not mistaken, um, soy wax candles um, can be used also as massage lotion when they burn. Don't say that explicitly on here. But I believe that they can. Don't quote me on that though. See inside, we got two wicks there. Yeah, it smells like a Victoria's Secret checkout counter where all of the different little body sprays and stuff are. <laughs> so 
very delicate curly scent. It's pretty sweet. Some good sounds too. Awesome, that's pure bliss. This is Walter and Rosie. Enchanted Rose, eight ounce hand poured soy candle. Natural clean burning. So, let's see what the materials have to say about this one. So, Walter and Rosie from just outside of Chicago. They can make just about any fragrance you can think of, but their creative minds created products inspired by your favorite Disney movies and characters. Enchanted Rose is inspired by Beauty and the Beast's beautiful Enchanted Rose and will burn for 40 to 50 hours. Yeah, it's definitely a big candle. So let's see what it smells like, if it has a scent. You can tell, um, soy candles have a bit of a different texture to their wax than other candles do. This one doesn't have a too strong of a scent, it's more like a... Let's see. It really kind of just smells like a soy candle. Like a little bit of a little bit of a perfumey fragrance. It's kind of hard to put my finger on. It's a pleasant scent though. See what's up next. Interesting. We got a pretty small one here. See this? Eco palm wax. Love travel jar. Let's read the description. from eco palm wax using palm wax from brazil and colombia cotton wicks and essential oils two travel jars and avoided will get you far with 24 hours of burn time all right let's um open this one up see how it smells it kind of looks like a like makeup looks like a makeup pot Excuse the traffic noises outside. It smells kind of cinnamony, actually. It's like a cinnamon and like berries. Not in a weird way, though. It actually blends pretty well together. This one. It's real 
chill kind of scent, I think. I might have to tap around on these a little bit afterwards to make cool sounds. Here's our other romance from the same company. influencing my smell perception. Definitely a bit of vanilla, but yeah, some other stuff in there too. It smells good. I really like the ones so far from this company. Maybe it's just because they're a little bit less, uh, I guess. What you might call girly in their scent. A little more neutral, I guess. I like these though. Here's that photo they were talking about. This one is called Valentine. Not too strong of a scent from this one at all, actually, but it's a real nice color. Cool little votive candle. All these are right in time for Valentine's Day. Coming up this Friday. Put some of these to use. I'm making dinner on Valentine's Day, by the way. I'm making steak Gordon Ramsay style. It's gonna be so good. I'm excited for my own cooking. <laughs> Here we got a little heart candle. This is the Sunbeam Candles one, so let's read about that. Sunbeam Candles, a flicker favorite. Sunbeam Candles are 100% beeswax and created with solar power in upstate New York. Made with an unbleached, lead-free cotton wick, this little heart is a precious token of your love. I burnt them 12 hours. This has got a, this has got like a, um, a, kind of similar to this love one. I get a little bit of cinnamon and like baking spices, like a cinnamon sugar, like nutmeg, things like that. I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite one so far. I don't know if we've reached the end of the box or not, so let me just pull the rest of this stuff out so we can see. one. So, if you want to be considered for the giveaway, 
leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite scent is. It doesn't have to be just candles, but what is your favorite scent overall in the entire world? So leave a comment, let me know that, and in a week I'll do the drawing and uh, pick somebody to get a free box. So thank you guys for watching. See you later.